everybody, Jen here. Um, sorry it's taking me so long to make another video. Um, but if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or read my blog, you know that I spent much of last week in the hospital um, because I had the flu and my heart rate was too high so they wouldn't let me leave. Um, and then since I've been home, I've basically just been um, trying to fight off you know whatever is left of the flu and I just haven't had a lot of energy and I've just you know still been pretty sick but um, I was feeling pretty good today and I actually even combed my hair for like the first time in like two weeks I um, just put some twists in my hair so I figured if I have enough strength to do that maybe I can you know try to make a video or something really quick and just um, update you guys on what's going on um so basically what happened with that um like I woke up I guess Monday morning and I was like drenched in sweat and I just wasn't feeling good so I ended up um <coughs> excuse me bah. sorry so I took um, my temperature at home my temperature said like a hundred point four and I know um you're, you know, it's not good for your temperature to be that high when you're pregnant because it can affect the baby. So I just decided to go over to the ER, got there, um, and they told me my fever was actually 102.9. Um, so it's actually worse than I thought. So good thing I ended up going over there. Um, but they ended up really keeping me because my heart rate was just too high. I think it's supposed to be around 100 when you're pregnant, and mine was like one. 34 so my heart was literally like just doing this and then the baby's heart rate went up a little bit because of the fever as well so um they just wouldn't let me leave i just tried to i tried to think of it as a like a staycation um which is weird like because my mom was like i don't understand like why you don't want to come home but it's not that i didn't want to come home but you know if you've had the flu it's just it's just horrible you're achy you're stuffy you know and then being pregnant on top of that it's just horrible you know so it was like you know being at the hospital I don't have to do anything like you know there's room service and the food's amazing and I watch tv all day and you know my my bathroom's like right there so it, it really wasn't that bad and then my husband would come and sleep at the hospital with me every night so I was like I'd rather be here than at home by myself, <laughs> like, you know, while my husband's at work and I, you know, I can barely do anything for myself, so, um, but my, my fever ended up breaking maybe, um, early Wednesday morning, so they finally took me off the IV after, like, three days, and then, um, Thursday morning my fever is still, um, was down, so they let me go, my cousin Kim came and got me, thanks Kimmy. Um, so, um, uh, but I've just, you know, still had, like, a cold and a lot of congestion, and, um, um, I found out I'm anemic again, um, which I guess, um, that happened with me with the last baby, so I guess my babies just like to suck all the iron out of my body, so, um, now I'm on, um, iron tablets for that, and today I'm actually seven months pregnant, you guys, like, I'm in the third trimester. I've never been this far along before, so I'm so excited. There's only 12 weeks left until my due date, and it's like, like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm just, um, I don't know, just a lot of different emotions, and I don't know. I just can't wait to meet the kid, and, um, yeah, like crazy my baby shower is in like two weeks um I didn't do anything with that this week because I was just basically in bed all week just trying to get better but um you know that'll come together um and then um this week I actually um went to go do my glucose test which um as you know it's that one hour test where they check to make sure that you don't have gestational diabetes so basically they make you um what do they do I think you drink, like, did they make you drink it first? I don't know. You drink this, like, really sugary drink, and then after an hour, then they take your blood, 
um, and just like check your levels or whatever. Of course, mine came back abnormal because that's just the kind of luck that I have. So I ended up having to go back in yesterday, um, Thursday, which is usually the day I do my 17P shot. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, the 17P shot is an injection given to you from week 16 to about 37 when you're um, full term. And it's a progesterone shot, which is supposed to help um, prevent preterm labor, um, which is what happened with me before. So anyway, so I went in since they were like, since you have to come to your shot, um, let's do the three hour test since your um, thing was abnormal. So I was like, great. Um, so I had to have my blood taken. Then I had to drink, then I had to drink the, the thing again and try not to vomit. And then I had to have my blood taken three times. Um, over the course of the next three hours so it was a lot yesterday and I was just tired but um, you know um, I should get my results back on Monday hopefully everything is okay um, gestational diabetes it's not very uncommon but it's just you know I just don't want like an extra thing to have to worry about then they, you know if I do have it then they'd have to put me on a special diet I'd have to check my sugars during the day and it you know, I just don't really want to do all of that. But I'll let you guys know um, the results of that when I get that back. Because um, a few of you are asking me um, on Twitter and, like, through email and stuff. Oh, I got to show you guys my sexy, um, <laughs> my sexy bruise from the hospital. It's actually getting a little bit better. It was worse than that, but it's going to be stuck there for a while. This is from, like, all the needles and stuff I got. Like, it was just, it's just crazy how much blood I've given over the past two weeks. It's just ridiculous. But, so now I have this, like, you know, this cute bruise that is just, you know, just it just goes with everything, you know. But I'm just like, oh my god. I'm like, I was telling the girls at the office yesterday, I was like, is this going to go away soon? Like, I don't want people to think that I'm like getting beat up or something at home. But anyway, um, I wanted to share with you really quickly my pregnancy essentials, the things that have just been um, crucial to me during this time, um, you know, as we're wrapping up the last. First things first. First, first things first. First things first are my prenatal vitamins. This is the um, complete prenatal system by Rainbow Light. And I got these at Whole Foods. They come in different size packaging. This is the, the biggest one that has 360 tablets in it. This one goes for like 44 bucks, which is kind of expensive. But seriously, these vitamins are the best prenatals I've ever taken in life. And um, as I said, they're from Whole Foods, so they're all natural. Um... And it, um, it's a, it's a food-based multivitamin. And, um, a lot of women, when you're, you know, when we're pregnant, our gag reflex is just ridiculous, um, you know, with these pills. This is how big they are. They're, you know, they're kind of big, but they're not too bad. I haven't had a problem with them yet. And you can either take two of them three times a day, or you can take three of them twice a day. Um, I used to take them three times a day, but then I have really bad pregnancy brain, and then I couldn't remember, like, if I had taken it once or twice for the day, and then I would just get confused, so now I just take them, you know, three in the morning, three at night, and, um, with these, like, I haven't had any, like, swelling, I had, like, I had mouth swelling in my hands and my feet when I was in the hospital, but that's because I was hooked up to the IV for, like, three days. But otherwise, I haven't had anything else. Like, this is just amazing. And another huge problem with prenatal vitamins. Like, you know, we're friends. Like, can we, t can we talk about poop? So we know sometimes, or most of the time, prenatal vitamins make you constipated. These, I have had that experience with these. Like, these actually keep me regular and allow me to go like twice a day like with no problem like um you know, I've, I've had other 
Um, I know when I was in the hospital, I didn't have these with me, so they just gave me whatever it was they had. And I came home and I, you know, tried to go number two and I just thought I was in labor. Like, I was just like, this is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand how people can do this. You don't want to be in the bath. Ah, oh. you know, you don't, you don't want to have to go through that. That's just not cool. But in all seriousness, you don't really want to be like, you know, straining that hard to go to the bathroom when you're pregnant because... You know, you don't want your water to break or, like, some crazy thing to happen. Like, it's just really uncomfortable. So, um, should you find yourself knocked up or you just want to take prenatal vitamins, I would suggest these. But anyway, so those are the vitamins. And then this is a book that my, um, sister gave to me when I was pregnant with Jolie. And it's just a pregnancy week-by-week -week book. And I love it so much. And every week it gives you, um, it like tells you how much the baby weighs and, you know, average and, um, the, the average length of the baby. And it tells you what your body is going through in that particular week and what the baby is up to that particular week. And then it also shows you, um, oh, this is, this is my baby now. Um, so I'm at 28 weeks now, so this is what baby gray looks like in there something like that but gray is much cuter and I know he has like a full head of hair right I, I know that because he told me it's really cool it has the illustrations in there and you know shows you how your your baby looks you know week to week in the earlier months though it'll give you like the actual size which is really cool um but it, it just it goes in depth like I know a lot of women rely on like you know pregnancy apps and things like that and some of them are pretty good but um I think it's better to have a book like this or you know what to expect when you're expecting because they really go into a lot more detail but um about I mean just everything just things you wouldn't even think of asking and you know sometimes I ask my doctor like these questions and he's just like how do you even know about those things but you know I read this book and it really helps so every week actually um when we enter upon a new week my husband and I will like sit down together and read upon the baby and see what the baby's doing um and this one is just called uh your pregnancy week by week thank you sister for giving me this book oh my god my third pregnancy essential I could not live without literally or sleep without it's my snuggle body pillow as you can see here and uh, yeah this is my snuggle my snuggle guys I mean I I don't know what I would do without this thing um you know there comes a point where it, it starts to become a little bit difficult to sleep because your abdomen is expanding and the baby's getting heavier and all sorts of madness this is going makes on in it your body. really hard to and find a comfortable position to sleep in. So I started having that problem around month five and I went ahead and bought this pillow and I love it so much. But ever since I've had it, I've been able to sleep really good. I haven't had any problems. I love my snuggle so much and you can get it at like Amazon.com, uh, Babies R Us, you know, all the good stuff. So love my snuggle. Don't know what I would do without you. My last pregnancy essential are um, these t-shirts from Target. And they're the Liz Lang maternity um, t-shirts. And they're only like 10 bucks. I have white, black, and purple. And I mean, t-shirts are awesome because you can, you know, wear them um, casual. Or you can, you know, wear like a nice skirt and a big statement necklace or something. And, you know, kind of dress it up a little bit. But, I mean, the t-shirts are awesome because, you know, I mean, I love t-shirts you know, all the time anyway, but, you know, being pregnant and, like, trying to get dressed sometimes is just an absolute nightmare. So if you can just grab, like, a white tee and just, like, quickly build an outfit around it, it just makes things so easy, and they're cotton, and, um, because they're maternity, they grow with you, so you won't be that pregnant lady that, you know, has her, like, belly hanging out on the bottom of her t-shirts, like, 
people, like, we have maternity t-shirts, people, like, you know, you can buy those. $10 at Target, okay? No reason for it. Um, you know, they come, they come in, like, 10 different colors. Like, you can literally just live in that t-shirt every single day. Like, there's always a different color. But, um, t-shirts are awesome, and... You know, when you don't feel like getting dressed, you can just put this on and, you know, your little maternity jeans and a cute necklace and just, you know, keep it moving. And it just makes life a little bit easier. So, um, guys, that is my um, wrap-up of the second trimester as we are now in trimester number three. And then I showed you... Was that... Yeah, that was three. Okay. And then I showed you my um, four um, pregnancy essentials, my personal things that um, kind of make my pregnancy a little bit easier. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'm feeling a lot better. So I hope to, you know, make some more and keep things, you know, on, on a schedule again and not go away for so long. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching. And, oh, my God, hi, new people again, um, people who subscribed since the last video. Um, hey, and um, thanks for subscribing. And everyone else, thank you for tuning in again. And I hope to bring you lots more fun videos. And as I said before, if you have anything, any videos you want me to make or any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And come see me at my blog, www uh, lovelossandlacquer.com you can like me on Facebook you can follow me on Twitter Instagram all that information will be included below so love you guys bye